loses to me, I don't think he can show his face in another tournament again. Do you think he will lose to you? Yeah, of course, because I already broke him once. I'm, he can't handle uh, the intensity. Yes, the time has finally come. We've got Magnus Carlsen. He gets his proper name today with the white pieces here and his opponent, the young, brash, trash-talking Hans Neiman. Trash talk off the charts in readiness for this event here. We're going to have a look at this exceptional game and then I'll bring you the match results, though they are still playing. It's late here in the UK and they're in Paris. Let's dive right in on this game. Game. Oh my gosh, what in the world is going on here? This is unbelievable. They're playing online on computers, but in an over the board setting. They didn't shake hands. They dive straight into the chest. The audience loving it. Magnus opens with E4 here and Hans goes for a fighting Sicilian in response. Knight F3, D6. Magnus now really riling up the crowd because he plays Bishop B5 with a big whoosh as he he lands that check they're loving it hands blocks the way here and now we see the advance of the c prawn preparing to set up the big center knight f6 queen e2 covers the e4 pawn and hands starts chasing back magnus's pieces get out of here he says as he expands with b5 it's prawn again over on the queen side this one drops back the clergymen are stacked and now we see bishop b7 can you name me any anything tastier than that diagonal mushrooms now we see castles e6 on the board and what a pawn formation flowing undulating it's beautiful like the locks of hans neiman's fro d4 from magnus he does it for the raw the crowd are getting into it queen c7 played and now how about this for a tricky little move Bishop d3, eyeballing b5, and Magnus is like, yes, please play c4, hands. Chase me, change to pawn structure, but he doesn't. He just goes bishop e7, gets his bits out. We now see knight b to d2, rook c8, and Magnus takes the tin opener to that queenside pawn formation. Guess what we now see? Change of structure, c4 now on the board. Explosive. Chases back the bishop. Those two reunited looking a bit miserable right now what can magnus do in the center well it's actually hands first to the punch he's so inspired by his chess coach life coach mentor all-round good guy vladimir kramnik Big bad Vlad, the chess cheat impaler, e5 played, and Vlad's purring away. Shades of the Nidorf expansion in that move. Now we see rook d1 on the board. Castles from hands, no fist bump, no explosion from the players for the king's safety acknowledgement, no love lost between these guys. Knight f1 maneuvering, rook fe8 played, and Magnus now shuts the center with d5, kills the bishop on b7, but gives the pony a square on c5. It immediately hops there. Magnus goes h3, because obviously bro, give the king a bit of luft, and now these are some of the top moves according to Stock Squid, but none of them played by hands. He plays a very ugly move of B takes on A4. Sorry if you're easily offended. Makes you want to pull a face like this. Magnus now recaptures. Knight takes. So yes, Hans has picked up the bishops, but look at the state of his pawn structure. He goes A5, giving the bishop a bit of breathing room, but this pawn's now a massive target. Magnus finally completes that development with bishop to G5. We get knight D7, trying to trade this bad bishop here stuck behind its own pawn but Magnus just overplays his hand he should take those bishop, uh, bishops off then go knight g3 here keep an eye on f5 but he drops back to e3 and it allows Neiman this incredible counter shot which he finds here the exceptional move of pawn to f5 fighting back in the center magnus now takes and the point is revealed because the knight rotates round knight g3 and how about this for a tour de horse that one drops in the center and suddenly hands fighting back look at his central pawn crump uh, crump clump here d5 could be on the way apologies i'm tired tonight we now get rook d5 
to a1 coming after that pawn on the a file and bishop d8 the best move but it drops back to f8 here given the question mark by the silicon overlord magnus picks up the pawn knight f4 also not the most precise but time's ticking down this is human chess and hand does a poker face he's looking all over will magnus spot his queen's under fire yes he does he's world number one saves it and how about this for an octopus that stocktopus can be proud of magnus now could go rook a7 f6 apparently a strong move but he plays knight g5 you know given the question mark even though it's very natural wasn't the top engine choice but he wants to attack this is why hans does not pick up this pawn the queen marches in just look at it visually very scary not what you want especially with these rooks joining the party so the pawn not touched on b2 instead we see queen c6 and it's an excellent move threatening mate in one and inducing a blunder from magnus carlson he should go f3 or queen f1 even the knight back to f3 works but he plays the aggressive move of knight 3 to e4 blocking the way yes but hang on what are you doing after h6 kicking the one defending the brother now apparently you can go queen h5 and you get tons of counterplay even for the piece or so says stock plankton but magnus goes queen g4 given the question marks of doom right and this is a problem because the piece drops off the board here yes magnus recaptures he is holding the checkmating threat don't worry not about to see a mate in one but now bishop e7 neiman unraveling and at the end of the day he's a piece ahead here the knight under fire it hits e6 very natural mating one threatened and so bishop f6 covers that mating square rook a7 is best but magnus goes bishop g5 and immediately you can actually give an exchange here magnus was trigger happy with the exchange sacks today but neiman doesn't go for this one he instead takes here we see queen recaptures again threatening the mate again neiman should just lop off that knight it's such a monster but he plays rookie seven to cover and the game just explodes at this point now here's what he's saying if you take my rook which is loose i'm going to checkmate you the queen's overloaded but magnus comes up with a counter shot absolutely stunning brilliancy he plays the move of rook to a6 what to say about that and here's the point if you capture then you can take the rook because you've gotten rid of the battery no more checkmate white's doing well here so we don't see the rook taken instead we get queen d7 best move holding the rook magnus goes rook b6 and bishop d5 has to be played again going after that knight on e6 but bishop c6 is played and look at stockfish react or should i call it stock mollusk never should use its proper name magnus has a great move here he doesn't play it he can can immediately capture that bishop and here's the point after rook recaptures you know the queen needs to stay with the rook here you can check and you're actually forced to block if you come up this way you're getting checkmated in various different ways so you have to do this but then you can take queen's overloaded white's doing really well mate in six apparently or mate in eight so we come back here you can take the bishop immediately not played we see rook a to a6 instead but neiman doesn't capitalize he doesn't play rook e to e8 that's apparently the best move he instead brings the knight to f4 trying to get rid of the one on e6 but we can see the evaluation reacting an absolute hernia magnus comes up with the brilliancy of of rook takes on c6 he doesn't need asking twice because after this rook recaptures he can now land the check it's huge for the lines i just showed but he misses it he takes on c6 given the miss suddenly black is better if neiman takes here 
This is how he had to go. This is how the line goes. That's how you get your piece back. Black is a piece ahead here, a knight ahead. It was just completely missed. Instead, we see knight takes on e6, but now there's a problem. You can take back with the pawn, and if you take here, well, white takes here. So instead, we see queen captures. Now Magnus takes here, still using tricks to pick up material. A6, oh my A6. gosh, what in the world is going on here? This is unbelievable. This is how the game proceeded. Magnus now checks from the back rank here, drives the king to h7, we get check, king g8, queen e2, and e4 pushing, yes, but Magnus with the outside b pawn, passer, lands the check, d5, queen d4, and you just can't take him off. The b pawn, whoops, the b pawn runs would decide the day, so queen e6 is played instead b5 and it was the final move of the game hans neiman resigns here this one's too much magnus's king is safe no perpetuals on the way that was a lost end game that's where he throws in the towel they're still playing as i record this but i'm going to show you the results on screen now because this will be the final results by the time i'm finished recording i suspect magnus takes the match right but who knows stranger things have happened in the bullet section Apologies, a bit tired tonight. Thanks for sticking with it. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I'll be bringing so much more chess over the weekend, over the coming week, as we digest this incredible historic match. Thanks a lot and see you soon.